Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Public Service for Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. This is a public meeting and there are no lettings or no hearings today. So I would ask that only members of this board be allowed to speak unless recognized by myself or the secretary. At this time, I'll ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Coyle. Here. Director Davis. Director Hayes is excused. Director Pearson is running late. Director Scoby. Present. Director Williams. Present. President Bradley. Present. We have a quorum. I will call the meeting order. And as always, I am present. Gotcha, Dr. Uh, Director uh, Davis. Thank you. Regular order of business from the president. Recommendation that approval be given as follows. Item one, equipment service division repair of fiberglass aerial truck personnel lift bucket service contract with Western Illinois Custom Fiberglass LLC. This contract provides professional service to repair damaged fiberglass aerial truck lift buckets used in tree trimming and power line services through September 30th, 2026. The max not to exceed the amount is $45,000. Item two, Equipment Services Division, John Deere Construction, Forestry and Compact Loader Equipment and Repair Service Contract with McCoy Construction and Forestry Inc. This contract provides service and repair on John Deere non-agricultural equipment only through September 30th, 2026. The max not to exceed amount is $80,000. Item three, emergency work for EA 24-001. AOC, EOC Phase 2, Package 2 at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. The estimated cost is $5,300,000. Item 4, Port, Port Authority New Lease Agreement, WACO Transloading LLC. The Port Authority has negotiated a new land lease for a warehouse and grounds at 4230 South First Street. The 294,532 square foot warehouse occupies most of 735,657 square foot site on the South Riverfront between Mississippi River and Union Pacific Railroad track. Since the existing lease expires December 29, 2023, the authority requests proposal for use of the property starting December 30, 2023. WACO submitted the only proposal Currently, the rent is $82,328.44 per year, and the authority has negotiated a new rate of $240,000 per year with an annual 3% escalate, escalator for 10 years with three five-year mutual options to renew. From the Director of Public Utilities, recommendation that the board declares as emergency action the following. Item one, miscellaneous heating, ventilation, and air conditioning service work for water division facilities. This work is needed to make emergency repairs and perform maintenance for HVAC equipment located at the various water division facilities to maintain operational status, improve operational efficiency, and ensure reliability of this equipment which serves critical facilities. The estimated cost of this work is $175,000. Item two, miscellaneous electrical service work for Chain of Rocks and Howard Bend water treatment plants. This work is crucial to the operation of the water treatment plants and include maintaining existing electrical infrastructures as well as responding to address issues with treatment equipment and facilities. The estimated cost of this work is $200,000. Item three, Replacement of an overhead door at the Howard Bend Water Treatment Plant Boiler House Building. This work is needed for the replacement of the overhead door that is over 40 years old and hard to operate to enter the building on the north side where the boilers are. The estimated cost of this work is $25,000. From the Director of Streets, recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Item one, Petition number 6771, an ordinance to conditionally vacate Atlantic from Teresa West Wardley, 
422.10 feet to a point and the 15 foot wide east west alley in city block 2211 as bounded by Atlantic, Teresa, Gradiot, and Grand from Teresa extending West Wardley 238 feet to a point. Petitioned by Corrigan Brothers Inc., Gradiot Properties LLC, and Union Pacific Railroad LLC. Item two, petition number 6914, an ordinance to conditionally vacate the triangular shape access portion of right of way at the southeast corner of 11th and Locust, abutting city block 178. Same being bounded by Lucas, 10th, Washington, and 11th, petitioned by PNF Properties. Item three, petition number 6917, affidavit of Bonds Jewish Hospital and Washington University to conditionally vacate areas adjacent to city block 3888 and a regular portion of Bonds Hospital Plaza from Kings Highway East, 625.31 feet, air rights over Bourne's Hospital Plaza beginning 243.01 feet, East Kings Highway and extending eastward 50 feet, and a regular portion of Kings Highway beginning 133.96 feet, north of Bourne's Hospital Plaza and extending northward 125.8 feet, for aerial and subsurfaces only. A 4.55 feet by 32.08 feet section of Bonds Hospital Plaza near the center line of the street beginning 249.96 feet east of Kings Highway. Item four, petition number 6922, affidavit of 2616 Cherokee LLC to conditionally vacate the northern 147.695 feet of the 20 foot north south alley in city block 1564 as bounded by Cherokee, Jefferson, Potomac, and Texas. Item five, petition number 6923, an ordinance to conditionally vacate Windsor Place from Grand Boulevard to Spring Avenue. A 10 foot wide road known as Highway Strip from Windsor Place northward to Spring Avenue and located in City Block 3709, as bounded by Finney Avenue, St. Adolphus Street, Windsor Place, and Spring Avenue, Bell Avenue from Grand Boulevard to Spring Avenue, St. Adolphus Street from Windsor Place to Bell Avenue, Enright Avenue from Grand Boulevard to Spring Avenue. Item six, petition number 6925, an ordinance to conditionally vacate the remaining 187.83 foot portion of the 20 foot wide East West Alley and City Block 938 as bounded by Del Mar, 21st Street, Lucas and 22nd Street and 22nd Street and extending East to a point petitioned by Collaboration Place, STL Real Estate and 2233 Washington LLC. From the Directors of Public Utilities and Streets Joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131878, request from Union Electric doing business as Emory, Missouri to reconduct and replace poles and equipment in the alley north of Cherokee Street, beginning in the alley on the west side of Wisconsin Avenue and continue through the alleyways ending on DeMille Place. Joint recommendation that one application from charter be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00117 for 4459 West Florissant Avenue. Joint recommendation that six applications from AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00125 for 6906 Bruno Avenue. Application number 00140 for 1121 North Jefferson Avenue. Application number 00150 for 1200 Hodemont Avenue. Application number 00166 for 2100 Boardman Street. Application number 00172 for 2020 Hampton Avenue. And application number 00173 for 2101 Locust Boulevard. Joint recommendation that three applications from Missouri Alliance Network be approved subject to certain conditions. 
application number 00178 for 3840 Lyndall Boulevard. Application number 00179 for 3834 Forest Park Avenue. Application number 00180 for 3858 Market Street. Joint recommendation that one application from Verizon be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00181 for 3524 Sydney Street. From the Director of Public Safety, recommendation that six conditional use permits be approved subject to certain conditions. Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the board. My name is Steve Narr, zoning plan examiner for the city of St. Louis, representing the building commissioner. Her board order number 766 transmitted here with our recommendations for the following conditional use applications. Approval is recommended for six applications. Uh, 1910 Union Boulevard, first floor, 2916 Gravway Avenue, 8889 to 91 Hall Street, uh, 6317 to 19 Clayton Avenue, 4530 Olive Street, and 2240 Edward Street. Thank you, Steve. Before we get into questions on the conditional uses, I do want to note that this morning uh, we received and distributed to each of the board members on the 6317 through 19 Clayton Avenue, which is a parking lot. We re received two letters of strong opposition, one from Alderman of the Fourth Ward, uh, Alderman Narayan, and one from the uh, president of the Clayton Tam Community uh, Neighborhood Association. And so with that in mind, I will open the floor up for any discussion or questions uh, on today's conditional uses. Seeing none, I would ask that you please consider those letters and ask someone to please make an appropriate motion. Motion to approve Williams. Can you hear me? So there's a motion on the floor to approve, and I'm assuming, Director, that you're trying to approve all of the conditional uses, even the one that we have the strong letters of opposition on. Sorry about that. All but the ones we have the strong letters. That was on 6317 through 19 Clayton Avenue, item number four under conditional uses on your agenda. Right. I'll second that, Scoby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to make sure that I'm clear, the motion is to approve all the conditional uses except for item number four, 6317 through 19 Clayton, correct? Yes. Okay, and it's seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Scobie? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. Thank you. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from September 26, 2023, last Tuesday. Are there any questions or comments on the meeting minutes as presented? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. So, so moved, Davis. Second, Coyle. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Scobie? Abstain. Thank you. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. The minutes are approved. Turn your attention to our meeting agenda. Are there any questions on? Today's BPS meeting agenda. I move to approve, Scobie. Second, David. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Scobie? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? I today's agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any questions or comments from any of our board directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. Motion to adjourn, Davis. Second, Williams. Thank you. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.